Baseball was suspended for the final three games of the regular season after the team was accused of sign stealing. After last night's win, Harbaugh again denied having any knowledge of the alleged scheme. Off the field issues, we're innocent. And, and we, stood, we stood strong and tall because we knew we were innocent. Andrew Dimber. Well, according to reports, Michigan offered Harbaugh a 10-year, $125 million contract extension. NFL teams have expressed interest in speaking with him about a coaching job. So. Quite the legacy. Yeah, quite the <laughs> legacy. So were you, were you voting Michigan? I so I was talking to my husband last night. We were we were watching the game from from Google results, right. you know, just kind of like updating it as we went, as we ate dinner and things. And he was like, "Who are you rooting for?" I'm a coog at heart, right. through and through. And so, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. <laughs> and so I you couldn't, you couldn't. I I couldn't I couldn't go for the Huskies. Right. I apologize. My very <laughs> first college football game I ever went to was that Oregon Duck game, but they were playing Michigan. And my friend that took oh. me said, "You got to wear a Michigan jersey." So I did. <laughs> So I didn't have an allegiance either way, there but you go. good for both teams. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, let's take a live look outside. We've got uh, temperatures in the 40s right now. Strong gusty winds. Winds are blowing at 26 miles an hour, gusting 30 to 40. Details coming up on my first alert weather forecast. Plus, we're hearing from the officers who blew the whistle on the Prosser Chief of Police, creating a toxic work environment. We take a look at the latest numbers for the Yakima Police Department as some of the data may be misleading at first glance. Good Morning Northwest continues right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good Morning Northwest on your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Riley Fitzgerald. And I'm Stacy Lee. Active weather to say the least. It Definitely. doesn't really, we don't get a lot of breaks in between, Riley. <laughs> it has started today, mainly in the mountains today, but we have been seeing a little mixed precipitation in the Yakima Valley this morning, causing some school delays. We'll get to those a little bit later. Let's look outside though on our Skywatch radar. There you see the snow showers falling across the Cascades. A little rain mix with snow coming through the Yakima Valley, impacting some school uh, schools this morning, Walla Walla seeing some showers and we have some active snow falling across the Blue Mountains, the I-84 corridor. So travel today could be difficult to impossible depending on where you're trying to go. I-90, blizzard conditions there as well as the Blue Mountains, I-84. 46 degrees right now, Legends Casino Skycam. Our winds at 26, so your feels like temperature 37. It's going to feel cooler today with those gusty winds uh, throughout the uh, afternoon. High wind advisory in place till 10 o'clock on Wednesday. Again, I wouldn't doubt seeing wind 60 plus mile an hour, especially along the foothills of the Blues and through the Columbia Basin and down the Columbia River Gorge. So just be aware of that. Here's our weather pattern for the next couple of days. Strong storm system moving through, eventually moving to the south and out to the east. This is where we'll get a tiny bit of a break on Wednesday, Thursday, but then another storm is setting up for the weekend. Blizzard warning in the Cascades and in the Blues, 6 to 20 inches. We could even see more than that in the upper elevations. 8 to 24 inches cascades. Some of the northern Cascade Mountains could see up to four feet of snow in the next 24 hours. So again, be safe out there. Uh, snow could be falling as fast as an inch per hour with strong gusty winds. I'll get to more details in your first alert full weather forecast. Riley. Thank you, Stacy. Six school districts have been delayed due to inclement weather so far this morning. The East Valley School District is on a two hour delay with no AM preschool and buses on snow routes. The SELA School District is starting two hours late with no AM preschool. The Highland School District is on a two hour delay. The West Valley School District will start two hours late with no AM preschool due to icy roads. Nutchies Valley is on a two hour delay. The Yakima School District is delayed two hours with no AM preschool and the buses on snow routes and there will be no morning classes at YV Tech. On December 14, 2023, members of the Teamsters Local Union number 839 took a vote of no confidence against Prosser's Chief of Police, Jay King, in response to claims of poor leadership. Apple Valley News Now's Jill Sperling spoke with some of the officers concerned about King's actions. We're keeping these officers anonymous out of their concern of retaliation. The morale is at an all-time low. Uh, we've had most of our officers either uh, attempt to leave or actually leave. Three members of the Prosser Police Department are speaking out about the alleged actions of Prosser Police Chief Jay King, each concerned about possible repercussions, but feeling it's important to do so. 
law enforcement is a very scrutinized profession. In Washington State, not only in the country, but in Washington State, officers are held to an extremely high standard as well they should be. Part of that is officers holding each other accountable, including administrators and police chiefs. In a letter to Prosser's mayor this month, the Teamsters Local Union Number 839 lists a number of claims regarding Chief King that have caused members of the police department to lose faith in him as a leader. Those claims include the violation of officer safety. I've caught him personally on three different occasions, on duty in uniform with an unloaded pistol. He doesn't wear body armor. He says he's Catholic. He doesn't need it. And then later he says, oh, I ordered it and it hasn't come in yet. This is just one of several claims that Chief King has not been following procedures. There's been times where I've been on a, on a traffic stop with him where he was outright violating civil rights by unlawfully detaining um, individuals and even going as far as making one involved driver call the other driver to come to the, to the scene on what was realistically just, a, just some traffic issues. Union members say Chief King also implemented an activity log, mandating at least one activity per hour per shift. They say this has resulted in an inflated number of cases. Well, it's misleading numbers. If traditionally the Prosser Police Department is investigating 6,000 cases per year, and then all of a sudden the next year we have a 36% increase, which results in 10,000 cases, and if the result of that is more funding to be requested, that's an impact to the taxpayer. He's only been there for, what, eight months? Teamsters business agent Jesus Alvarez Jr. says he was approached by multiple officers over their concerns. And on December 14th, attending members voted unanimously in support of no confidence against King. They feel like they're being uh, treated differently, disparate treatment. Uh, they feel that the only way they can go forward and not be retaliated against is to get rid of the chief. Get somebody that knows what they're doing there and respects them as police officers. We've reached out to Police Chief King for his response to these allegations against him, but have not received a call back. There were a lot of changes for local law enforcement officers in 2023, like statewide drug law reforms and dealing with inflation amid budget cuts. Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell spoke with Yakima Police Chief Matt Murray to talk about the department's challenges and successes in 2023 and their goals for the coming year. Yakima Police Chief Matt Murray says overall crime is down in Yakima, but some of the higher numbers are actually a positive change. He says domestic violence protection orders are way up, but not because there's more domestic violence. That's because we're going and looking at the house to see if they're there and not waiting for somebody to call. It's just one of the targeted efforts by the citywide domestic violence coalition. We have more eyes and ears and strategies to get these people and hold them accountable. Drug crime in Yakima went up 100% in 2023, not because people were doing more drugs, but because state legislative changes made it possible for police to make narcotics arrests again. DUIs are up, but only because YPD now has two officers dedicated to those cases. But a major reason why other crimes are down, flock cameras, which track license plates in real time. I said early on, this is the biggest advancement in law enforcement since DNA. Since installing the first set of cameras in 2021, Flock has helped YPD solve 11 homicides, 24 robberies, 52 eluding cases, 56 weapons offenses, 78 hit and runs, and 392 stolen or recovered vehicles. A lot of the suspects who are being arrested for auto theft in Yakima are from out of town because they didn't know we had Flock. See, the people who used to steal cars in Yakima know you can't do that anymore. It's also led to a dramatic decrease in drive-by shootings from five to 10 a week to just one or two. By the end of 2024, we will have 87 stationary cameras and 94 in the car for 181 cameras. That's the city of Yakima. But as much as the cameras help, they can't replace officers and YPD needs more. So we're down 24 police officers. We're down five civilian non-sworn positions. We're down three in the jail. It's just really difficult to continue to operate at a high level when you don't have um, the staff. Officers leaving to other agencies to try a different position, move to be closer to family, or because they just don't like where they are. We're asking a lot of our people. You have to work a lot harder in Yakima than you do in other places. The results are profound, but it's tough. You know, it's a tough 
uh, place to police and you can make pretty much the same money somewhere else. But the more officers that leave, the harder it is for those who stay. Overtime hours up 56% last year for YPD. YPD does have a peer support program, mandatory debriefs after tough calls, and a police psychologist, but... There's people who don't access services because they're afraid other people are going to find out about them. And sometimes they don't get treatment until they absolutely have to. The city had a million dollars in LNI claims over 2023, and there is a very very big percentage of that that had to do with first responder uh, mental health treatment. One big push for 2024 to create a program similar to what Denver PD has, where officers seek help from a psychologist, the department gets the bill, but it doesn't tell them the officer's name. I would love to get staffed up higher. Um, I would love to address, continue to address mental health with officers, but from a crime perspective, from a community safety perspective, I just think we need to stay doing what we're doing. Reporting from the Yakima Newsroom, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. Murray says they're also struggling with budget cuts and will have to work with the city this year to figure out where they'll need to make those cuts. Stacy Lee returns now with a look at your morning weather forecast. Well, we've got a very windy morning out there. Temperatures warm in the Tri-Cities, a little bit cooler this morning, more active in Yakima. I'll get to all the details coming up in your first alert weather forecast. Plus, the University of Washington School of Medicine is issuing a warning to Washington residents as the newest COVID strain is on the rise. Okay, thanks for visiting. Bye, Alice. Eh, I'm stuck. Not funny anymore. <laughs> yes, it is. Wait, guys, the Mesozoic times are boring and have zero rat attractions. Triple play is fun. I want to stay here. Of course you can stay. Oh, fantastic. We won't regret this. Triple play has fun attractions for everyone, like bowling, Raptor Reef Indoor Water Park, and a brand new zip line ride, all attached to a cozy hotel. She's on the local already. Marketers are the worst. Shopping online for a purple mattress? We get it. With Purple's unique gel flex grid and multiple foam layers, you'll experience effortless sleep that's motion adaptive, temperature balanced, pressure relieving, and ultra supportive. But which Purple mattress is right for you? Come to Denver Mattress and test for yourself. And during Purple's New Year New You event, save up to $800 on select mattress and adjustable base bundles. Shop Purple at Denver Mattress, the easiest way to find your perfect purple. Teens have drama. One more minute! Braces add more drama. Oh, how does anyone do this? Invisalign is better oral hygiene and no drama. Some people believe they can stop cervical cancer screening once they have children. Not true. Keep getting tested until you turn 65. There's more at applevalleynewsnow.com. Becky Morris at Prosser Memorial Health's Grandview Clinic. Visit prosserhealth.org. Growing up, I watched my mom serve our community by helping others through our church. I watched my dad, a workers' comp attorney, help people get benefits when they were injured at work. I'm Bryant Sutton, an attorney at Bothwell & Hamill, a law firm that exclusively helps people win workers' comp and social security disability. Let us go to work to get you benefits. Call 509-584-4411, Bothwell & Hamill. Here, freshly made grizzly bear tracks. Survival, it's not guaranteed. Good thing I got my Ford Bronco Sport, because it goes over any terrain. I hear there's a good diner on the other side of the mountain. I'm out of here. Wherever you go, a Ford Bronco Sport is the key to survival. Get a great deal on one today, only at your local Ford dealer. Mac and cheese, calling my name. A special place on the scenic Clark Fork River. Fly the Northwest tonight at 6. According to the CDC, Washington ranks high among states with an increasing rate of respiratory illnesses. The University of Washington School of Medicine's Dr. Helen Chu says cases of flu and COVID are both on the rise and will probably peak in the next several weeks. I do think that the numbers will continue to climb very, very quickly over the course of the next several weeks um, as people go back to work, as they start spreading these viruses to their friends and family and coworkers, that this is really a good time to go ahead and get your vaccine if you haven't yet. 
Dr. Chu says the new variant JN1 is highly transmissible and only a small percentage of Washington residents are up to date on their shots. Coming up, we sit down with the new mayor of Pasco, Pete Serrano, and Stacey Lee will return with a look at your first alert weather forecast. Shelby's Floral, your homegrown neighbor with worldwide connections for over 45 years. Shelby's, more than just a flower shop, specializing in beautiful custom arrangements, live plants, silk florals, home decor, and all things Christmas. We're unique and we're here for all of life's occasions. Shelby's Floral at the corner of Clearwater and Edison in Kennewick. Stop by today and let our experienced designers help you with all of your floral needs. Shelby's Floral. In the heart of Tri-Cities wine country, you'll find the Goose Ridge Richland Tasting Room. Located in the center of our vineyards is an opportunity to enjoy life through wines, hard ciders, Monson Ranch spirits, light bites, and live music at Goose Ridge. More than you'd expect, more than just a winery. Danny was rear-ended by a semi-truck. Serious injuries. The back end was in the back seat. There was nothing left of the rear. Danny was in pain, and the insurance company was giving him the runaround. Mariano's reputation and experience gave him an advantage over the insurance company that I didn't have. I felt very comforted. I felt like I was going to be taken care of. That I didn't have to worry about it. The insurance company couldn't run around me, and Daniel got paid a lot. He lives up to his reputation, which is somebody who gets results. Call 853-2222. Dishwasher on the fritz. Laundry. I'm giving you fits. A water heater that quits. In a world without Culligan, hard water makes life harder. Get a Culligan softer, the world's best. Put your water worries to rest. Does your phone have the Apple Valley News Now app? With top local stories, first alert weather, and an easy way to enter our contests. Make Apple Valley News Now your go-to information app. Search and download on the App Store or Google Play. Female frogs fake their own deaths to avoid unwanted male attraction. <laughs> they learn that from us. Let's fly. Daniel Kaluuya. Plus, anxiety-fighting foods. Today at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Operation Best Friend on Good Morning Northwest. Sponsored by Wendemere Group One. From Apple Valley News Now. First alert weather with Stacy Lee. And good Tuesday morning to you. Very active weather. Here comes the snow. Once it starts, it's going to continue pretty much all day in the Cascade Mountains. We've been seeing a little bit of mixed precip in the Yakima area. Pretty dry and clear down the Columbia Basin, although windy. And then, yes, we're starting to see that heavy mountain snow in the blues. 46 degrees on our Legends Casino Sky Cam. Our feels like temp is 37. Let's take a look at our wind gust potential. Again, very windy on the Pacific Coast. Not a good day for mariners or anybody in boats. And then we see those strong gusty winds all through our area impacting mainly well almost the whole state into Spokane, Tri-Cities, down into Central Oregon, even towards Idaho. So that's the impact of these winds and then they really pick up later today along the Cascade Crest. So that's going to be blizzard like conditions. There's a blizzard warning in place till 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. We're looking at 8 to 24 inches of snow, wind gusts up to 65 miles an hour, even higher at higher elevations. And we could see anywhere from 2 to 4 feet of snow in those northern portion of the Cascade. 6 to 20 inches in the blues, blowing snow. I-84 could be difficult or too impossible to get through today. And we're also looking at some snow up towards the uh, Spokane area, 2 to 4 inches. Here's that storm track for today. It's pretty massive. It's from the top of the state all the way down through Oregon will continue on and off through the day. And there's that big band. Hood Mountain's supposed to get anywhere from two to four feet of snow in the next couple of hours uh, throughout the day, up to an inch an hour falling. Here's what it looks like on Wednesday. That storm track finally starts to move on down, mainly across Oregon on Wednesday and into Northern California and then off to the east. And we're kind of like in between systems here. But don't worry, there's another one on the way. Here's future cast. There is that snow. This is lunchtime. We still are going to see some rain as those temperatures warm up in Yakima. So any uh, ice that we have 
have this morning should start to melt off by the middle of the day. We're going to stay mostly dry in the Columbia Basin, Tri Cities, most of those systems moving around us tonight. More active weather in the blues. Once again, the Cascades will continue to see the snow. Then we see a big band coming up from the south. Now I do see a little pocket of snow possible uh, overnight. Uh, into the early morning hours, so maybe a few snowflakes possible. There's the rain showers and here's that snow all the way through uh, northeastern Oregon. More Cascades mountain snow showers eventually starts moving down into the south, but you could encounter snow across the uh, I-84 uh, Columbia River Gorge near the Dalles. So very active. Yeah, if you have any travel plans, you want to check things out ahead. Let's take a look at our seven day planning forecast. Warm today above the average temperatures. Fairly warm tomorrow as well. This is our little break between systems and then check it out. We cool down drastically. We're talking 15 to 20 degrees below our average into the weekend with temperatures in the teens and those overnight lows going down into the single digits. We're forecasting snow for uh, Tri Cities and Yakima Friday and Saturday. No guess on the accumulation amount at this time, but as we get a little bit closer to that, we'll get those uh, totals for you. There's those uh, stormy conditions in Walla Walla and Hermiston with once again those temperatures dropping drastically between Thursday and Friday and into the weekend another 10 full degrees with those overnight now we could see a lot more snow towards the Walla Walla area, foothills of the blues Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. So again, be safe. Travel plans. Check those past reports. Carry chains. Riley. Thank you, Stacy. Each of the Tri-Cities now have a new mayor to start 2024. I sat down with each of them and in the city of Pasco. Well, he's not a new face at all. Uh, Pete Serrano has been with the city council for six years. He now holds the role of mayor. I asked Mayor Serrano what he wants to see for Pasco by the end of his term. Well, certainly if Road 100 is not done, <laughs> we're going to hear that. I will hear that until I'm buried. The Broadmoor Interchange project, which started at the end of 2023, is expected to be completed later this year, yeah. constructing a multi-lane roundabout and a new loop ramp connecting eastbound I-182 to northbound Broadmoor Boulevard. Pasco Mayor Pete Serrano says by the end of 2025, when his term ends, he wants the community's growth to continue while keeping Pasco's roots intact. It's not just growing, but again, I really want to make sure that we retain some of the benefits, some of our cultural benefits and some of our rural ag influences um, that we have here in the history of downtown Pasco. Mayor Serrano, who has lived in Pasco since 2015, says the goals coming up are taking a smart look at the growth plans. Um, I'm afraid that if we grow too fast and bring in too many amenities, we're going to lose some of that benefit of uh, you know, we're going to now become, because of remote work, like a bedroom community to Seattle. Serrano says he's worked under several different mayors in the past six years, and he's planning to take a little from each of them as he starts his term. I've, I've had the opportunity to learn from three very different personalities of how to embrace this position, and I'm hopefully going to take, you know, my flair plus the benefits of those three individuals and really do my best, again, to represent the city. He's also an attorney and general counsel with the Silent Majority Foundation. I asked how his experience in law will impact his tenure as Pasco's mayor. What I love about our council is the, the diversity that we have of backgrounds. I thought it was an opportunity uh, with the new council to have that ability to share with them my experience and to really bring Kind of again to your point, the assets of being an attorney and that leadership and have that sitting at the helm. Pete Serrano is our new mayor. The role of mayor is appointed by fellow council members who turn the role over to Serrano on Tuesday, January 2nd, with a six to one vote. What running for Washington's attorney general in 2024? We hear from Richland's mayor, Teresa Richardson, coming up tomorrow on Good Morning Northwest. And when we return after this, more than three decades after she was murdered by a notorious serial killer, police and prosecutors in Riverside, California are hoping the public can help them identify the unknown victim. Right now, there's just so much happening in our world. So much at stake at the start of every morning. Making sense of it all, that's not always so easy. And that's where we come in. Good Morning America. We want you to know every morning. We're right here, and we got gotcha. you. Dear All-Wheel Drive, 
Let's show the road what we've got. Snowy streets, we're coming for you. Icy grip, we're holding tight. Wintry mix, meh. Safety's the name of our game. Yours, Toyota all-wheel drive sedans. Toyota has 22 all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive vehicles, more than any other brand. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Save now with winter stock reduction pricing in Bymart's latest savings book. Pick up a copy in store. All Bymart vitamins and supplements are 50% off. Save with a hot buy on all season one gallon windshield cleaner. Member priced at just $2.99. Plus our winter stock reduction sale has comforter sets, electric throws and heated mattress pads 40% off. Save now with our latest savings book at Bymart, your Northwest employee owned membership store. Hi, I'm David Smith. And I'm Tori Smith, local owners of Mattress Depot USA. We both grew up in the Seattle area. But unlike our large competitors, we still live in this community. We do business with local manufacturers from right here in the Pacific Northwest. Hey, we realize that your top priority is to get a quality mattress at the best possible price. And that's what we do. And it never hurts to do business with someone local. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Did you know Ustria Health has three full-time board-certified orthopedic surgeons? Pain in your hands, knees, hips, or shoulders can reduce your quality of life. Orthopedic doctors repair bone, joint, ligament, and tendon injuries, which can relieve debilitating pain. Our surgeons treat tendonitis and carpal tunnel, repair broken bones and fractures, and replace painful, worn-out joints, putting you back in motion. Ustria Health, exceptional rural health care close to home. Need a new best friend? Then check out Operation Best Friend on Good Morning Northwest, where each Wednesday you'll meet lovable pets from shelters that are looking for their forever homes. Operation Best Friend from Windermere Group One and Apple Valley News Now. This newscast sponsored by Mariano Morales Law. Welcome back. In California, authorities hope the public can help in solving a 32-year mystery. They're desperately trying to find the name of a woman killed by one of the country's most notorious criminals. Here's ABC's Lionel Moise. This morning, officials in Riverside County, California are releasing these images, hoping to identify the only remaining unidentified victim of convicted serial killer Keith Hunter Jesperson. So easily able to kill her and just dump her on the side of the road like she was trash and she's not and she deserves dignity and respect. The body of the woman known as Claudia was discovered along Highway 95 in August of 1992. Jesperson was referred to as the happy face killer because he drew smiley faces on letters to the media and police. He confessed to murdering Claudia and seven other women. Jesperson is currently serving multiple life sentences. This woman is the last of all his victims to remain unidentified. It's believed Claudia was hitchhiking, eventually getting into a truck with Jesperson. This would be Claudia's last meal. After eating, the two had a heated argument in Jesperson's truck. This is where he killed her. Authorities say advances in DNA technology, the woman's remains, and a recent jailhouse interview with Jesperson have helped, adding that Claudia may not be her real name. She is described as a white female with fair complexion. She was around 25 to 35 years old at the time of her death. She was about five feet, seven inches tall with medium build. She likely had brown or dyed blonde hair. Also releasing images of a rendering of the shirt she was wearing when she was found and a distinct tattoo, two small dots on the left side of her right thumb. Even though this killer is behind bars and never going to get out, this victim has an identity, has, is a real person, and we want to make sure that we give her back her identity and give closure to these families. Psychologists were able to determine some of Claudia's relatives, including her father, who they say is now deceased. They say other relatives found are half-siblings, but that they weren't aware Claudia existed, so they haven't been able to help. Investigators in Florida recently used this same DNA technology to identify one of Jesperson's victims found in 1994. Coming up, the final countdown to the Iowa caucuses is on with less than a week to go before the GOP's first contest of the 2024 presidential election cycle.
a visit to a Montana resort that has it all. Different scenery and the wildlife, the just the atmosphere, the foliage, it's all, it's all great. The hot springs is the real draw. It's Quinn's Hot Springs Resort. Fly the Northwest. Apple Valley News Now at 6 tonight. From Apple Valley News Now, this is Medically Speaking. My name is Lauren Martin. I started to work out at Hanford in 1982. And for 20 years, I worked with the fleet, uh, repairing cranes, locomotives, cars, ambulances, fire trucks, everything. In, after 20 years, then I came down with a disease. There are some very, very expensive drugs. And my copay on that is zero. All I have to do is pick up the phone and it's there. So we'll definitely evaluate their past employment. As a registered nurse myself, I'll look through their medical records and I'll look to see maybe what medical conditions they have and we'll be very upfront with them, honest about whether they do have a claim that could warrant benefits or not and just kind of let them know what those next steps are, the timeline of how long it could take for them to get approved. I'm Richard Karn and I love my hose. It ain't those old hoses, this is my hose. The new Pocket Hose Copper Bullet, now infused with real copper, so your water is always clean and lead-free. Just turn on the water and watch your hose grow and grow. And when you turn off the water, away it goes. Our new inner tube uses three layers of high-strength latex on the inside. Then it's wrapped in a new polymer filament jacket, three times stronger than the other hoses. And I love the oversized, easy-to-grip fittings. Get the super light 25 foot pocket hose copper bullet today for only $29.99. But wait, call now and get our turbo shot adjustable nozzle absolutely free. This is an exclusive advanced release of our 2024 edition pocket hose. Order now. Call 1-800-616-7249 or visit copperbullethose.com. So call 1-800-616-7249 now. Does cooking feel like a kitchen battle? You need Granite Stone Armor Max, the revolutionary cookware set with four durable layers of ultra non-stick. So slick, virtually nothing sticks. No oil or butter needed. You can get the Granite Stone Armor Max set for just four easy payments of $39.99. We'll include this razor sharp knife set and deep steam and fry pan set, yours absolutely free. Plus, we'll ship your entire order free. Order now. Next extra, Emma Stone, still rocking that Golden Globe winning glow. It's incredible. How do you feel? We've got Emma on her whirlwind night and putting an end to season one of The Curse. Next extra. Tonight at 7.30 on Apple Valley News Now. The best way to end your day. That is good TV. Friends, tonight at 11.05. Former President Donald Trump leads his rivals by over 30 points as Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and former United Nations Ambassador Nikki Haley are in a close fight for second place ahead of the Iowa caucuses. This comes as Trump wants his Georgia election subversion case dismissed, arguing he has presidential immunity. Get ready for a very windy day and lots of mountain snow showers. I'll get to all the details in my first alert weather forecast. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Riley Fitzgerald. And I'm Stacy Lee. Hope you're having a good morning. Um, I would be selective about what I'm wearing today. It's definitely breezy. <laughs> Very windy. Not a good dress day, ladies. Plus, it's going to be getting cooler. Uh, well, it's going to warm up today, actually. We'll see warm temperatures. Just not going to feel like it because of all those strong, gusty winds. Uh, let's peek outside. Skywatch radar. We have active weather. We're seeing some rain mixed with snow going through the Yakima area. Now, that's going to continue for the next couple hours. It should start to decrease as uh, the temperatures warm up. We are seeing lots of snow now falling on the Blue Mountains. Look at Dayton all the way down to Walla Walla, that I-84 corridor through Pendleton, plus the Cascade Mountains. Here's that rain mixed with snow coming through the Yakima area, so very active. And again, I-84, that Cabbage Hill area, very, very uh, stormy this morning. 46 degrees on our Dust Devil Sky Cam. Our feels like temp is 37, and our winds right now blowing uh, sustained at 26 miles an hour, gusting even stronger. We 
We could see gusts between 50 and 60 plus miles an hour today, mainly along the foothills of the Blues, the Columbia Basin and down the Columbia River Gorge, as well as the Cascade Mountains and Mountain Crests. We've got blizzard warnings in effect through tomorrow morning, 8 to 24 inches, even more snow in those upper elevations. Uh, Hood, Hood Mountains is supposed to get a couple of feet as well, 6 to 20 inches here in the Blue Mountains. So again, we want to be safe. Get ready for strong gusty winds today. Some scattered showers are possible in areas. Those mountain snow showers continue. Blizzard conditions and then get ready for a big cool down as we head towards the weekend. Riley. Thank you, Stacy. The 2024 election is in full swing with the Iowa caucus less than a week away. Candidates from both sides are taking sharper aim at Donald Trump, who leads the Republican primary by a commanding 30 points. President Joe Biden on the campaign trail as well, warning that his predecessor and MAGA Republicans are poisoning America's democracy as the former president faces more time in court. ABC's M. Wynn has more from Washington, D.C. Less than a week away into the Iowa caucus, the first contest of the 2024 presidential election cycle. President Joe Biden taking aim at its predecessor at an event in South Carolina, denouncing white supremacy as poison, pointing to January 6 and Donald Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election results. An extreme movement in America, the MAGA Republicans, led by a defeated president, is trying to steal history now. And losers are taught to concede when they lose. And he's a loser. <laughs> Meanwhile, in an interview with Lou Dobbs, the GOP frontrunner making a bold prediction that the U.S. economy would crash and saying he hopes it would happen this year because he doesn't want to be another President Hoover who took office when the economy was stable but later had to tackle the start of the Great Depression. We have an economy that's so fragile, it's just running off the fumes. And when there's a crash, I hope it's going to be during this next 12 months because I don't want to be Herbert Hoover. Trump trying to take credit for the current economy that defied expectations in 2023 with inflation down, job growth high, and unemployment rates low. Trump's GOP rivals are crisscrossing Iowa in a close fight for second place. Former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley raising the temperature on Trump. Just because President Trump says something doesn't make it true. Haley also taking on more attacks from Florida Governor Ron DeSantis after she didn't mention slavery when asked what caused the Civil War. DeSantis quick to criticize Trump, who suggested the war could have been avoided through negotiations. He couldn't even negotiate funding for a border wall when he had a Republican Congress. Former President Donald Trump wants his Georgia sub election subversion case thrown out. In a motion filed Monday, Trump's lawyer argues that he is protected from prosecution under presidential immunity. Trump's defense team insists that he was working in his official capacity as president when he allegedly undermined the 2020 election results and therefore has immunity. The claims are similar to those argued in Trump's federal election subversion case. His defense team is now calling both cases unconstitutional, arguing that presidents cannot be criminally prosecuted for official acts unless they are impeached and convicted by the U.S. Senate. On Tuesday, a federal appeals court will hear arguments from Trump's lawyers and special counsel Jack Smith over the same two claims of immunity. Trump is set to attend that hearing. Stacy Lee returns now with a look at your morning weather forecast. And get ready for a gusty day. You see our camera bouncing around outside in Richland. 46 degrees, your feels like temp is 37. Winds gusting at 26 miles an hour. Lots to talk about in our first alert full weather forecast. Plus a piece of a ship that was apparently more than 100 years old washes onto a beach at a Maryland state park. A special place on the scenic Clark Fork River. Fly the Northwest tonight at 6.
When you need legal help, trust Quantum Legal. In football, your team can have a bad season. In real life, when you are having a bad season, you can call Quantum Legal. We're here for you in times of trouble. Whether you need assistance with criminal defense, personal injury, or have been injured on the job, and with tens of millions of dollars collected on behalf of clients, we will find the best solution for your situation. Call us today at 509-783-5551 or visit us online at quantumlegal.com. The second semifinal matchup is here. That's exhilarating. Which celebrity will advance to the Celebrity Jeopardy final? Quick thumbs, Steven over here. I've got the god thumb. <laughs> Celebrity Jeopardy, new tonight on ABC. That fitter does showers? That's right. We offer a wide selection of beautiful and functional showers in all shapes and sizes. We can even convert your bath into a shower. How about that? With our seamless one-piece walls and hundreds of design options, you'll get a beautiful new shower to fit your needs, guaranteed for life. Bath Fitter's been around for 40 years, and we've been experts in showers for just as long. Get yours today. Bath Fitter, it just fits. Go to bathfitter.com to book your free consultation. Exciting news. U.S. Cellular has the amazing new iPhone 15 Pro. With a stunning titanium design and the best iPhone camera yet. The thing that Cut. I love... Hmm? Beautiful. Now let's cue the music. Green screen. Huh? And action. U.S. Cellular has the amazing new iPhone. Come on, man. It's titanium. U.S. Cellular has the amazing new iPhone. Cut. Love it. I felt good. New and current customers can get the iPhone 15 Pro with titanium on us. Get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Next ET, our Jay-Z exclusive behind the scenes of his new passion project, plus Jay's hot take on Usher's Super Bowl halftime show. And I think he'll take his rightful place. Next ET. Tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. want Apple Valley News Now anywhere, anytime? Then you need Apple Valley News Now Plus for your phone, tablet, and streaming box. It's local news and first alert weather on your schedule from people you trust. Get Apple Valley News Now Plus for your phone, tablet, or streaming box today. Female frogs fake their own deaths to avoid unwanted male attraction. They learn that from us. Let's try Daniel Kaluuya plus anxiety fighting foods. Today at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back, everyone. Maryland officials have discovered an unburied treasure. Staffers at Assateague State Park say a nearly 15-foot-long ship piece washed up on the beach late last month. The state's historic trust determined the wooden fragment came from some sort of vessel that dates back to the mid to late 1800s. And they say it appears to have been a deck timber. The piece was tagged so it can be tracked. If it makes landfall again, looking at it, I wouldn't necessarily assume that it was anything special. Right? Just a <laughs> chunk of wood, right? <laughs> <laughs> but it appears that it's it's back in the ocean, so if it makes landfall again, they'll they'll have an idea. Right. So Why didn't they get it? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> hmm, someone just took a picture of it and left it. <laughs> that's funny. All right, so coming up, we've got a lot going on weather-wise today. I'll get to all the details coming up in your first alert weather forecast. And after a door plug detached from the fuselage of an Alaska Airlines aircraft, experts suggest investigators will be looking closely at the Boeing assembly line. That's next on Good Morning Northwest. Danny was rear-ended by a semi-truck. Serious injuries. Mariano's reputation and experience gave him an advantage over the insurance company. Daniel got paid a lot. He lives up to his reputation, which is somebody who gets results. Call 853-2222. Indulge in Legends Casino's seafood buffet experience. Discover a feast of premium crab legs, succulent shrimp, and an array of delectable ocean-inspired dishes. Elevate your evenings with Legends Seafood Buffet every Thursday and Saturday starting at 4 p.m. <laughs> Let's go! Don't miss the Harlem Globetrotters 2024 World Tour playing Toyota Center January 21st and Yakima Valley Sundome January 22nd. Go to harlemglobetrotters.com slash WA for tickets. At Furniture Row, a new year calls for a new sofa, sectional, dining group, bedroom, mattress, and more. 
because the New Year's Super Sale has been extended, so getting it all has never been easier. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend and watch the savings add up. Plus, six years no interest financing. Say goodbye to tired old designs. And huh, to killer new looks at great prices. But hurry, the extended New Year's Super Sale at Furniture Row ends soon. Before you head for the slopes, catch the Northwest Ski Forecast on Apple Valley News Now. The Northwest Ski Forecast on Apple Valley News Now. Sponsored by Schweitzer Mountain Resort in Sandpoint, Idaho. Does shopping for bladder control products have you feeling like you need someone to be on the lookout for you? Now you have your privacy back. We're HDIS and we home deliver bladder control products directly to you. We're always on the lookout for you. You get free shipping in plain, unmarked boxes. So your private matters stay private. We understand how you feel. For over 35 years, we've delivered bladder control products to millions of Americans, just like you. You don't have to worry about incontinence any longer. Call now for your free product sample pack and over $45 in money-saving coupons. At HDIS, we're always in stock. We carry all brands in hundreds of styles and sizes. You'll be sure to get what you need, guaranteed. For your free sample pack with your free catalog and $45 in money-saving coupons and free product samples, call 800-257-0683. That's 800-257-0683. A visit to a Montana resort that has it all. Different scenery and the wildlife, the just the atmosphere, the foliage, it's all it's all great. The hot springs is the real draw. It's Quinn's Hot Springs Resort. Fly the Northwest. Apple Valley News now at six tonight. Danny was rear-ended by a semi-truck. Serious injuries. Mariano's reputation and experience gave him an advantage over the insurance company. Daniel got paid a lot. He lives up to his reputation, which is somebody who gets results. Call 853-222. Operation Best Friend on Good Morning Northwest, sponsored by Wendemere Group One. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Stacy Lee. Good Tuesday morning. You're going to want to grab your windbreaker and a coat this morning a little bit. Uh, well, actually on the warm side from where we could be in January, but we are seeing active weather along the Cascade Mountains and some rain mixed with snow going through the Yakima area. Sela seeing a few school delays this morning. Lots of snow starting to develop here across the Blue Mountains and that I-84 corridor. Here's what it looks like outside right now in our Dust Devil Stadium Sky Cam, uh, Giza Stadium, I should say. 37 is our feels like temp, so a full 10 degrees cooler because of those strong gusty winds. Winds are blowing at sustained at 26 miles an hour in the Columbia Basin, and those gusts are ranging between 30 and 35 miles an hour. We have a blizzard warning for the Cascades, heavy duty mountain snow uh, travel on I-90 today. High Highway 12 and Stevens Pass should be. It's going to be difficult at the least and maybe impossible to travel across uh, 6 to 20 inches across the Blue Mountains and blowing snow there as well with a blizzard warning. Now that will expire tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. We'll keep an eye on that. Here's our storm track for today. Again, look at that heavy snow all the way into Oregon. Uh, we'll even see some snow showers just north of Spokane or up that I-90 corridor into Spokane. So be aware of that if you're traveling up to the Spokane area today. Here's future cast. Look at the snow. It's just impacting the cascades and it's going to kind of keep going all day. Now the place to be is like right here in the middle, kind of <laughs> in between systems, however windy. Now we are going to see a few showers possible in Yakima on and off today, even rain mixed with snow, but those temperatures will warm up enough tonight though. More snow we will continue to see snow just outside of Walla Walla in the blues. A big impact coming by uh, late tonight uh, in northeastern Oregon. Hepner area, Pendleton and Hermiston will mostly see rain showers. We could even see a few flakes here in the Columbia Basin that moves to the east. We're going to see impacts on I-84, Columbia River Gorge, as well as uh, the uh, I-90 Snoqualmie Pass. So yes, very active weather the next couple of days, a little bit of a calm down on Wednesday, but then things pick right back up Thursday as we get ready for yet another system. That's going to bring low level snow. Here's the other big story. Look at the temperature trend. We drop way down into the teens coming up here in the next couple of days. Yakima up at 46 today and then whoop, 
down to 17 on Saturday, so big change there. Let's plan your day out. We've been seeing some showers, some rain mixed with snow in Yakima. That will continue at least through 9 a.m. Then these temperatures should uh, get us out of that. Uh, we'll see mostly cloudy skies overall today, maybe even a couple of sun breaks in the Tri-Cities with temperatures on the warm side right around 45 degrees. For Walla Walla, again, kind of sitting out the storm mostly, except for the foothills of the Blues, but the strong gusty winds definitely impacting the foothills of the Blues. Walla Walla, Pendleton, and Dayton today, so just be aware of that. Riley? Stacy, now to the new concerns of safety concerns surrounding certain Boeing 737 jets. A second airline is now reporting loose hardware connected to the section of fuselage that flew off a MAX 9 plane. It comes as we hear from the teacher who found the piece of plane in his backyard. ABC's Rhiannon Alley has the latest. This morning, a second airline is now reporting apparent installation issues related to Boeing 737 MAX 9 planes after a fuselage section blew out of an Alaska Airlines plane mid-air. Alaska Airlines says the inspections of its fleet have revealed loose hardware visible on some of its MAX 9s. And United Airlines, which operates 79 of the planes, says it found loose bolts on some of its door plugs. The fact that loose bolts have been found in other similar aircraft uh, indicates that possibly this is an endemic problem that uh, was created in manufacturing. The FAA grounded all 737 MAX 9s in the wake of the Alaska Airlines incident last week when a door plug, which is used to cover optional emergency exits, detached 16,000 feet in the air. Cell phones, tray tables, and headrests sucked out of the cabin, and a teenager's T-shirt ripped off his seatbelt had saved his life because that's why he didn't have a shirt on was the suction had just torn it off. You could see some of his injuries and how and the, the redness. No one was injured by pure luck. No one was sitting in the two seats next to the door plug. On Sunday, a teacher in Portland found the section of the plane in his backyard. It was a surprise to find the door in my backyard because with all the Portland to fall in, it was pretty surprising that it fell in my backyard. The door plug will now be taken to a lab in Washington, D.C. to be examined. The fuselage of Boeing 737 MAX 9 was manufactured by a company called Spirit Aerosystems at a plant in Kansas, where it's then shipped to a Boeing plant in Washington. Spirit Aerosystems saying in a statement they are a committed partner with Boeing on the 737 program, and we continue to work together with them on this matter. Boeing saying they are committed to ensuring every Boeing airplane meets design specifications and the highest safety and quality standards. We regret the impact this has had on our customers and their passengers. Rhiannon Alley, ABC News, New York. We'll be right back with the morning sprint and a final check on your forecast, but first a look at what's ahead on Good Morning America. In this morning's GMA First Look, newly released footage of that dramatic holiday rescue. There is a vehicle. It is pretty badly damaged. A harrowing rescue caught on camera. Jesus, how long has he been there? Police body cam footage showing first responders in South Bend, Indiana, as they work to free 27-year-old Matt Reed. One, two, three. Okay. Trapped in this mangled truck for nearly a week. Oh, he's underneath the bridge on the interstate. He's underneath the bridge? He's a crazy... I've never seen We've been trapped down here for that long. That's insane. Two fishermen looking for a good fishing hole, stumbling upon the crash, noticing someone was inside. Who found him? There's a car over there. Let's, let's, let me go check it out. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll have much more of this dramatic rescue and the very latest on Matt Ream's recovery. With your GMA First Look, I'm Eva Pilgrim, ABC News, New York. Five hundred seventy nine breaths to show them your stuff. Every breath matters. Don't let RSV take your breath away. 
Protect yourself from RSV with a Brisvo, Pfizer's RSV vaccine. A Brisvo is a vaccine for the prevention of lower respiratory disease from RSV in people 60 years and older. RSV can be serious if you are 60 or older. Having asthma, COPD, diabetes, or heart disease puts you at even higher risk. A Brisvo is not for everyone and may not protect all who receive the vaccine. Don't get a Brisvo if you've had a severe allergic reaction to its ingredients. People with a weakened immune system may have a decreased response to a Brisvo. The most common side effects are tiredness, headache, pain at the injection site, and muscle pain. Ask your pharmacist or doctor about Pfizer's RSV vaccine, Abrisvo. Visit these retailers or find other retailers near you at abrisvo.com. Time right now is 6.52. We're going to get to your first alert forecast in just a moment, but we begin with a look at this morning's top stories. Six school districts and West Valley Chestnut, uh, West Chestnut Academy in Yakima have been delayed due to inclement weather. The East Valley and Yakima school districts are on a two-hour delay with no AM preschool and buses on snow routes. The West Valley, Union Gap and Sela school districts are starting with two hours late with no AM preschool. The Highland School District and Natchez Valley are on a two-hour delay and there will also be no morning classes at YV Tech. The Grand County Sheriff's Office reported a person was shot and killed and a Quincy officer was hurt in a police shooting Monday evening. Quincy police were called to the Jackpot Food Mart on the 300 block of F Street around 8.30 p.m. for a report of a man with a knife. Authorities say two Quincy officers got to the scene and one of them was stabbed in the arm and the shoulder. The man with the knife was shot and killed. The officer suffered non-life-threatening injuries and was taken to the hospital. A suspect in an early morning drive-by shooting in Prosser was arrested hours later near Sunnyside last night. According to the Mabton Police Department, authorities were able to get information that the suspect was in the Sunnyside area and reached out to Sunnyside PD and the Yakima County Sheriff's Office for help. Authorities say the suspect left in a vehicle at a high rate of speed and after a short chase, the suspect was arrested and taken to the Yakima County Jail. On December 14, 2023, members of the Teamsters Local No. 839 Union took a vote of no confidence against the Prosser's Chief of Police, Jay King, in response to claims of poor, poor leadership. According to the union, several members of the Prosser Police Department came forward with concerns about the creation of a toxic work environment, unlawful and sexist actions by the chief, and disregard for policy and officer safety. The union has expressed a, a desire to see Chief King terminated from his position. The Benton County Sheriff's Office held the second of three uh, public hearings last night to get feedback on a proposal to bring facial recognition technology into their investigations. The Sheriff's Office says they're, take, uh, they're looking at a program called Clearview AI which can take a picture and compare it to tens of billions of other pictures posted publicly online to try and find a match. The program is only sifting through pictures that are already available, not looking at cameras in real time. Washington State Patrol troopers released more information about the deadly crash on State Route 240 yesterday. Around 5.30 yesterday morning, a vehicle traveling westbound just west of State Route 225 switched lanes into oncoming traffic and was hit by a pickup truck. The driver of the first vehicle, 55-year-old Thomas Woodrich of Pasco, was killed in the collision. This case is still under investigation and it's unknown what caused the crash. We're sending it over to, uh, to Stacy Lee. Good morning. All right. Well, we've got that high wind advisory. Low, strong, gusty winds have begun today. They're going to be around all day long. Sustained winds 30 to 40 miles an hour, and we could see gusts 50 to 60 plus miles an hour. We're really going to be keeping an eye from Pendleton to Walla Walla and Dayton for the strongest winds through the Columbia Basin, uh, Tri-Cities area, and down the Columbia River Gorge. Those uh, mountain winds are going to be strong as well, and that has uh, caused us to uh, issue a blizzard warning, and that's what's happening in the Cascade Mountains. Now, the snow's already begun. We're looking at possibly up to an inch per hour of accumulation across the Cascades. We could see anywhere from eight 
to 24 inches in the upper northern portion of the Cascades. Two to four feet is possible there in a very short amount of time, so travel could be difficult to impossible across I-90. In the Blue Mountains, we're looking at six to 20 inches there as well. Winds up to 60 miles an hour, and uh, we could see some snow up towards the uh, Spokane Valley area as well. Let's take a peek at our seven day planning forecast. That is that rain mix with snow. We've been seeing that this morning. Temperatures warming up. That will change over to scattered rain showers later on. We stay in the 40s through Thursday and then look at the big drop and a chance of snow coming our way. 50 to 60% chance Friday, Saturday for Yakima. No word on accumulation just yet. We see, uh, well, a little break. We're kind of in between the systems here in the Columbia Basin Tri-Cities. Uh, same thing for tomorrow, but then look at those showers on Thursday, and then that big temperature drop happens where we're going to see Arctic air swooping down from Canada. Uh, snow is uh, in the forecast for us as well for Friday and Saturday in the Columbia Basin. Might have to dig out that snow shovel. Look for uh, mixed precipitation in the Walla Walla area the next couple of days in snow. Once it starts, it's going to keep going right on through the weekend in the Walla Walla area. So very active weather. Be safe out there and check those past reports. Riley. Thanks for watching uh, uh, and waking up with us on Good Morning Northwest. GMA is next and your local news is back tonight at 5 o'clock. Have a fantastic rest of your morning.